Hello, this is Mailman of the South with another drawing video. This one is based on the new game concept I had uh, about a week ago. I was thinking about Battle Chip Challenge as I was playing, and I'm just going to go through a little run through of my game concept. Uh, this drawing is in the front, it's something I just wanted you guys to see. Apparently, this is what I need to follow, except for that hair. Everything else looks fine. I just had to refine the lines. But enough about that. Let's move on to the game. Um, I would call the game right now. Um, Rockman EXE Monster Card GP. And you know why. This is just some scribbles I did. Uh, tried to make it sort of symmetrical and dynamic give it a little effect and make it a little bit interesting line art wise if you look at radio dragon over here he has a uh... rockman exe mode you can probably see the helmet lines and then i sketched my own character in to make it a little more correct and enough about that there's probably some more artwork back here i like radio dragon in this one but i do not like how i drew mega man exe Mm, again, Monster Card GP. And then Mega Man turned out okay in this one. And then I messed up Radio Dragon. And this is just some more artwork. And then some solo Radio Dragon artwork. It looks like he's cutting off his own hand, so I probably won't be using it. I'll probably just redo the arms. Uh, here's some rules that I wrote down while I had them on my mind. The game works like a mix of BCC and my card game, Monster Forces. And if you don't know what that is, it's over here. Uh, these are some deck holders I decorated. Homemade paper. Because back then I had a huge habit of drawing on line paper, which is why this looks like it does. Then those are the stacks of cards over there. It's about 300 over there. Um, the types of cards are under the deck building rules. The deck consists of 30 cards, only 4 copies of the same card, only 1 copy of the character card, or Navi chip, which you are probably more familiar with. And then here's the types of cards. The attack cards, obviously they attack, chip attacks, regular attacks whatever support is for healing or boosting attack properties special have odd properties that only support certain characters and such and character cards are like Navi like I said earlier and secret is a trap card like anti damage anti sword etc and the deck and then 30 cards for the deck, three of them can be equipped to a character, which is what is being explained below. Each character in the party, in the battle, will be three, three um, panels, one for each character. So that means a max of three characters. Each character can equip three cards from the deck in the attack support in a special category. When the card is drawn, the effect decreases because it's already equipped to your character. For example, sword 80 becomes sword 40. And there's a reason for that. But I won't get into that right now or I'll take up too much time. Uh, these are the the hidden effects which you really are supposed to find out. But they're all listed here so I won't forget them. When you put each card into an attack slot or support slot or special slot. Certain things happen. Slow means you lose a turn but you gain power fast means you um, wait power slow means you gain a turn no I confused myself you get what I'm saying slow takes a turn away fast adds a turn and then there's power and then there's HP adding and all that stuff these, these are the list of effects I just drew a little compilation of a mini screen sword combo fast power HP yeah, so if you equip it right, your HP increases. It's kind of like Navi Customizer Simplified. 
uh, this is the turn flow the game flow of each turn attack you can attack the opponent directly and your opponent can also block directly your energy gauge is based on stars you, to, depending on what character you have you, the least is three and the most is five or six and each action takes away a star and then here are the list of actions attack and then draw a card or depending on your Navi customizer effects the faster increase your drawing amount too you can draw two cards or three cards and the slow one takes um, away your drawing ability and then there's the battle zone which works like battle network and you're on the field but it's a lot smaller and you and we use too many stars we don't have any left you get frozen and then your opponent gets the edge on you and you don't want that to happen you want to manage your energy ability so here's a, a screen and some GBA controls down is when you pressing down on the d-pad lets you look at your hand on the main screen this is the main screen this isn't quite the battle zone that that um, display in the middle just shows you what's happening in the battle zone before you actually go in there so you can see it and the pressing right on the d-pad lets you go into the battle zone they're actually stiff in the main screen but you can move around in the battle zone the main screen is where you select everything so there's a reason and you press the back button it says switch on here but I changed it to block you can press up to switch and your attacking is from pressing the B button which depends on the card you equipped or your Navi or both and the R button lets you charge up your star so you can regain them while your opponent is uh you can also block blocking takes away a star but not that's the least because it's a defense and then the turn possibilities on the right and that's not quite complete um, here's a lot of things and a weird drawing but there's a lot on this page I explain some of it I think I'll get into the more the battle zone part because I guess that's the most exciting part um, to simplify things the bus the rapid buster let allows you to lock on when, when you hit your opponent and then after that you can follow up with a chip attack or a car or whatever and so if you so you are probably asking what do I need to charge it up for if I could just lock on with the rapid well if you charge it up you get a free pair so yeah paralysis so that could be even more useful and then your opponent can be trapped that's if you're skillful enough to land the charge but whoever gets the first hit the ends the battle zone it's very quick and strategic so you have to use your turn wisely uh, these are some parameters for how much you gain your hyper each character and character card will have a hyper gauge and when it gets all the way full they use their special move that's a that's a game mechanic for my card game but it's written differently for this game and here are some tournament matchups they're not complete yet it's supposed to have eight Grand Prix to the storyline and there's going to be two storylines when you complete them both uh, I guess you'll have a third storyline after that but that's all I have on Rockman EXE Monster Card GP yeah, you can comment below and tell me what you think about the video this is Batman in the South and bye bye